Ready to go. Go. Okay, so um, this prototype that we created um, is using um, some ideas with um, working with parents in the school. So the first part that would happen that does not have a picture on here is that um, there would be a district-wide or inter-district-wide training or event um, to lay the foundation for systems training and that could include some kind of experiential type of thing, um, but again, to lay that foundation around what systems work is and what that looks like and why that's important. And then um, moving into um, basically helping uh, literacy leaders see that um, the system can also be more than just the school building, but involving our wider community, and so, we talked about having a competition or um, event for parents, um, whether it would be an actual competition or not. Um, and so we would announce this, we would talk about it, and basically what they would be doing is coming up with different ideas of literacy things that they can do at home that can be shared um, with other families. And so, there's different ideas around that, that there could be a focus. Um, so it may be a focus by classroom. So maybe um, if a teacher has a passion in a certain area like vocabulary, um, which would get around that 30 million word gap issue. And so we would, um, we would talk about this with um, parents and families, and then they would come up with some ideas of how can they support literacy in their home and videotape it and create these little videos and then that would be shared. Um, and we talked about, um, oh sorry, before that, so the kids would present their ideas within their classroom and then it would go to the bigger idea of the school. And then um, at first we were like there would be one winner and then really it's all about how can the whole community work together like to increase literacy scores or so everyone would be a winner and we would have this celebration getting around the motivation piece and, and getting excited. So anything I'm missing here, teammates? Well, with the one frame the clarification? There, this frame here was kind of designed to be cool. Because one of the bigger ideas was around how do you make it kind of game oriented? And so we took the idea of kind of the shark tank where you have the parents actually presenting the ideas of what happened and the kids voting on which ones they thought were the strongest ideas to carry forward. And it could be more than one, but those strongest ideas would then maybe go to the district level where they would be shared with others that wanted the school level. So sort of in the vein possibly of a, a science fair, it'd be a district literacy fair. Um, could be one possible idea. And then really taking that to the bigger level and because part of what our prototype wanted to involve is also that bigger system and how do we broaden our um, community or um, circle of influence. And so, you know, we went all the way to the top of, we have Nine News there and um, the videos could be highlighted on the um, U.S. Department of Education webpage. And um, after this all um, took place, then we would come back and the literacy leaders would come together and do some reflection about how did that experience work, um, what parts of the system worked well together, maybe were there missing pieces of the system, or um, did the whole thing fail, and why, and what part of the system. So what could we learn from this experience to make our system stronger? So that's how we were connecting it to that systems piece. Um, for this prototype, it would be really important for us to figure out how to do some business partnerships. Um, we talked a lot about incentives, some prizes, um, and, uh, and then these are just some other brainstorming ideas of um, could we possibly have, um, if we didn't do the parent route, could the high school students help, and maybe a video class at high school, um, and so are there some different ways that we could do this, needing some funding, whether that was funding for someone to actually help lead this video project um, and or for the prizes and things like that and um, some ideas about how to make it achievable. So rather than just having this huge open-ended, like I mentioned before, maybe each classroom would have a focus or each teacher or school or something like that. Um, 
making sure it's, it's relating to what's going on in the school. And another idea is make teams, because a lot of times if you say, hey, who wants to do this? It's nobody wants to do it, but I need three people to work on this project. Um, and food is always important, no matter what we're doing. So, And then, again, just some ideas um, to help. How could we get some inspiration for um, the family's ideas to share with them to work through on this video project? So. I guess ultimately this video project would be this sort of real life experience that the district literacy leaders would experience a system and how this would impact their system. Other thoughts? Things I'm missing? Any more reflections and tying back to the design opportunity that you want to share? Um, you guys had talked about how it met the third one in particular. Yeah, so... Um, understanding and, and shifting, expanding their values. So I think coming together for this project, and I don't know if other people have other things they want to share, but that value piece um, around the importance of literacy. Yeah, I think, I think part of it was getting school leaders to think outside the box in terms of not all the literacy interventions have to happen in the school setting, but how can they incorporate what's going on at home? A way that would kind of maybe excite parents and kids, and that's where the game kind of the Shark Tank thing. I think. Any other reflections on the prototype? Okay. Oh. So, in thinking about um, our idea to prototype, we really reflected on that third bullet as well, around shifting or expanding other early education leaders values mindsets and paradigms around early literacy work and in our discussions we really focused on um, empathizing with others in the field to be able to experience what an early learner does so that's the basis for the start of our prototype where um, leaders across the district at any level could go into a classroom and shadow um, a three-year-old, be that three-year-old for the day. And we would have multiple leaders doing this um, at the same time so that part of it would be they would be able to come back with um, their own experiences and what struck them the most about that empathy experience. Do you want to add anything about that first time, Stacey? Good. And then what we thought they would do, um, Suzanne was actually talking about in education, we normally do an I do, a you do, an, or a you do and a you do. And we were thinking that the experience would lead them into, uh, maybe they went in, they shadowed the three-year-old and realized that the teacher's spending an hour washing hands during the day because of recess and lunch and all that. So, uh, or whatever it is. And then they would then pick a learning experience, something that they then want to go learn more about. They could go to a conference, they could um, they could do a systems um, um, thinking uh, experience and go out to a business or they could, whatever their learning is because maybe I don't want to sit in class, maybe I need to go experience things. So whatever their choice or their um, style is. So within that empathy, we're also igniting some curiosity, their own curiosity for themselves and building in trust at the same time, trust that they're a professional and, and whatnot. So then they would go out and they would actually choose some kind of learning experience based on, on the um, original empathy experience that they had. So this part right here would still be part of the video. Right, and we really focused in on for this choice that, again, it could be something related to that experience. I want to know more about child care rules and regulations because as a three-year-old, I experienced that hand washing several times during the day. Why does that really occur? Or, oh my gosh, I want to learn more about understanding why kids um, use manipulatives in the primary years. But we did talk, too, that this is about pre-K through three literacy, yes. so there would be an overarching focus area. And the feeling that if I have that perspective as that child, it might help me really make that connection with the teacher.
teacher about, wow, I really get what that's like for you to have to adjust in real time to meet that student's needs during the day. And I don't know enough myself about um, phonemic awareness, I think was one of the things we talked about. So that might really spark my interest and curiosity about learning more about phonemic awareness to understand um, more about that as an area of focus for early literacy. And then we talked about all of them having the opportunity to come back and share their experience. So thinking about um, how they might debrief, this is why I chose um, the topic area, um, allowing them to be a little vulnerable about what they maybe um, had either interest in or potential gaps into to really understand about uh, early literacy. And we also thought we would make that a choice as well. So if, if our team each went out and had a different experience, then when we came back to share with others and you were interested in my experience, then we would form a like group of people that were interested in community awareness or that type of a thing so that we could then develop some kind of an actionable step that we could take back as an I do, something that we were actually going to try. So we would be experimenting and there may be cracks in it, it may not work. So really promoting that idea and supporting that idea of failing forward, that sometimes our best learning is from the failed experiments or what did work, and then coming back through this process again and continuing your learning. And we really felt like in this piece around igniting curiosity, bringing everyone back together, this is what I experienced as an early learner. This is what I wanted to learn more about. It's that excitement about let's experiment with that further. Making so, it actionable. Yes, and that impact in the system then across um, other leaders. Um, what might I be trying um, that is different or that I might not know a lot about and could fail with, but that helps me broaden my understanding. And how do we know if it worked or didn't work? Like, so what's that evidence that it worked or didn't work? And how do we then bring that back and then keep that process of learning going? Curiosity. Would you add anything on that? Yeah. Thank you.